you know, I actually purchased my kids a book. And I go out into the library or the Barnes, actually I go to Barnes and Noble, not the library because I don't rent a book. I bought, purchase a book. And I find one that I like that really explains things at their age level and has pictures. I want to make sure that there's lots of pictures. And, but it's tasteful. Uh, it's not too babyish because they don't want they don't kids don't want that either um but it will it answer a lot of their questions if they're too embarrassed to come to me for and this is kind of one of my impactful parent tips um it's not that i use the book to avoid the conversation because it actually comes with a conversation but it's more like a supplement to the conversation that i'm beginning to have with my kids at this age and i have found it wildly successful because it's hard for kids to come and ask you every little thing and i also have um Two of my four kids are really analytical thinkers. Think about that engineering brain where they love to hear like, they're just much more of like mathematicians type of brain. And the book does them wonders. They like that kind of presentation to, what you know, and, and learning about the anatomy really scientifically. To them, it spoke to them. So I found books like that that really helped them. Um, and it just answered a lot of the questions and gave them that peace of mind. And then if there's anything extra, we could talk about it later. Um, the door is always still open, but there was something about having their own book where they could run to it whenever they were either bored or curious or had a question themselves. And if I was busy, they could still run and go get answers. And it was something that I gave to them so they knew it was okay. It wasn't something they had to hide. Uh, basically it just worked. You know, 